Hi guys, so in this really quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can find, buy and download and start to use absolutely amazing and gorgeous graphic elements that you can use in not only the branding and the style of, for example, your Etsy shop or Amazon shop or your own blog or whatever it is that you are creating online, but also that you can use some of these pieces so long as they give you express permission to create gorgeous products like dropship products like mugs, tote bags, art prints, or digital download products like planners, art printables, e-cards, tons of different things that you need to have you know, beautiful graphic elements and you can use the elements that you find here in the majority of cases to create resellable products such as mugs, tote bags. I see so many occasions where I'll watch videos and people will instruct you to go onto Google, find an image that you like, download it and start using that all over your blog, all over your shop, sometimes even on front of products and it's an absolute no-no. There are so many issues behind that when it comes to copyright issues and trademark issues and it's just not worth the hassle. You can be heavily fined, you can be taken to court, it's such a drama that is just not worth it, especially when you have amazing websites and programs available that are giving you a safe place to come and find beautiful fonts and clip art and graphics and stock photos and everything that you could possibly need to set up an online business and to brand it and make it look good. So that's kind of what I'm going to show you here today with an awesome website called Creative Market. So this is a place that you can come and find graphics and lots of different elements for sale that you can use in your own shop. And like I said, branding and a lot of the cases as well that you can use on products that you want to sell. So I'm really quickly going to show you how you can find what you want, how you can buy what you want, how you can download it on a program. Like for example, I'm going to use Canva and how you can put that towards, for example, creating the graphic for a product that you want to sell or the logo for your shop or whatever it is. This is also a great place for you to come and find pieces as well that you can use for personal things that you wanna do. Like if you wanna create cards that are not for resale, but you just wanna create a beautiful card for someone or you wanna create your own planner set. There are so many beautiful elements here. And what's great as well is instead of just going onto Google and downloading something for free, you are actually paying that person to keep doing the amazing designs and beautiful elements that they are doing. So I'm really gonna quickly show you. So this is Creative Market. So once you sign up, you get a free Creative Market account. It's completely free to sign up. And then you are able to purchase anything that you want on Creative Market. And again, like I said, you can find amazing um, font packs and beautiful clip art. And I'm just gonna show you, for example, what I do when I come and shop on Creative Market. So something that's really cool as well is you can pick up these kind of credits so if you're thinking right I want to have a business that is about I'm going to need a ton of graphics then one of the best things that I recommend that you do is you purchase some credits and you'll actually get bonus amounts that you can use so if you're planning on using it for the next year or whatever it is and you know that you need a ton of graphics like fonts and imagery and you just really want to go to town then I definitely recommend saving using credits. But I'm going to show you, for example, if it was me, I have an Etsy shop and I sell digital download products. I also sell dropship products and I need to create tons of different beautiful designs, not only for the products themselves, but for the branding and the look and style of everything that I want, which visuals and graphics play a huge role in any online business. So for example, one of the shops that I have is an Etsy shop and it's very pink and girly. So I might just start out by looking for something like pink clip art. I can just be broad and I can have a look and it will show me all the results on Creative Market for people who have obviously used the keyword pink clip art in their listing. So I get to choose from a bunch of absolutely beautiful designs from clip art to you've got like little elements that you can see here that could look beautiful on, for example, an art printable or an e-card or as part of my branding. But one that I've had my eye on for a little while now because I really, really loved it was this one here, which is called Forest Friends. It's a watercolor clip art. So when I click on it, it will show me different 
designs of kind of what I'll get when I buy the package that I'm about to pick up here. And I can have a read and I can see that I'm going to get some PNG files which have got transparent backgrounds which are great for layering. So for example if I want to add this fox in the middle of an art print and I want to add details around it then I can do that because it has a transparent background. So PNGs are absolutely perfect. Sometimes you'll also get offered the JPEG version as well which means it has a white background. So PNGs have transparent backgrounds backgrounds and JPEGs have white backgrounds but I would always recommend that you look for the PNG version and make sure that whatever you're buying has a PNG version. And the amazing thing about Creative Market as well is that not only can I have a look and see what kind of licensing they are offering, so here we have standard license and extended license, I can also scroll down and read through exactly what they're offering in these licenses. So for example, with the standard license, it's saying that items purchased under the standard license may be used to create end products for sale where the lifetime sales of the end product do not exceed 500 units. And it's a bit jargony, but if you feel comfortable reading through this and you completely understand what you're getting it's just the best way to find out how you can use the clip art or it's one of the best ways I personally think to check out the license in facts for each font clip art market whatever it is that you find on creative market that you're thinking about purchasing and make sure that it covers whatever it is that you're doing so if you want to use this for example for commercial use so you want to be able to resell it then you want to make sure that that license like a standard license covers covers what you need, it covers how many products you want to sell, that kind of thing. Um, but I always tend to find that if you're not 100% sure about what the license is trying to say, especially if you're relatively new on Creative Market, and even now I still get a bit confused, one of the best things about Creative Market is that you can just message the designer directly and ask them exactly what can you use the product for. So you can literally message them and say, I'm really interested in using your clip art for such and such like my branding or for creating an art printable or to put on the front of a tote bag. One, am I able to do that? And second of all, have you got any requirements for me in order to do that. So some people might ask you to incorporate other clip art and other elements. So for example, I could use this fox, but they might ask me to add floral designs from somewhere else, or I need to add font there as well, so writing. So I'm not directly competing with them for just having their single design. Others might ask you if you could give them credit. So if you could include their name or their link, whether it be in your listing, or sometimes it might be directly on the product. So you need to know exactly what you're offering but the best thing about this compared to doing it on Google is that you are directly contacting them you know exactly what they want you to do you can stay within the rules and then nobody's going to chase you for doing anything wrong along the way and that is the most important thing just don't go down the road of just downloading from Google and getting yourself into trouble do it properly and with places like Creative Market and Etsy as well you can find any graphic design, any font, any markup, anything that you want, you can find it and you can do it the right way. So once you've done that and you've found something that you like and perhaps you've messaged them and just said, can I use this the way that I want to use it? People are usually really fast at getting back to you as well on Creative Market. Or if you feel comfortable that you're used to the licensing and you know, you've read it through and you feel comfortable that it's for what you want, then you just make the purchase. So you just go down to finish purchase and it will take you through the process of buying it and then it will download those files onto your system. So I'm not gonna actually click that because I've already purchased this, but then I'm gonna take you over now to Canva, which is the graphic design program that I use. I've got tons of videos on things that I do with Canva, like how I create my art printables and Etsy banners and all different things, it's absolutely amazing. But one of the things I'm gonna show you is how you can really easily upload your creative market clip art and you can start using it to create awesome things on Canva. So I've created a much more in-depth video on how I create art prints in particular, but I'm just going to give you an example of how you can start to create an art print and you can download the files that you've just purchased of Creative Market and you can start playing with them. So if the first thing I do is just click on the A4 template in Canva, again, you need to have a Canva account, which is free. 
you have the free version and you have a paid version. I use the paid version just because Canva means so much to me in my business. It's worth me having the paid version. But if you want to have a play or if you want to do stuff for free, you can use the free version. It's just slightly more limited. But you can still download clip art just the same as anywhere else and you can also do the exact same on PicMonkey and many different graphic design websites but once you have gotten to your A4 template for example if I was looking to create an art printable I'd click on the uploads and then I will just scroll down to I'll create a new folder called Woodland Friends and then I've already got the PNGs that I purchased have gone have been downloaded onto my computer and they're available here in my folder and I can literally just drag and drop them really easily and Canva will download them onto its own system for me. So once I've downloaded all of the clip art that I want to use, I mean I could download the entire file onto Canva, it's no problem at all. Everything that I purchased from Creative Market I can download straight onto Canva. Um, these, as I said, are PNGs, so they have no background. And I can then just start having a play. So if, for example, I want to have this really cute, I think this is so beautiful, this giraffe head. That's just the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. I could just click it onto, just drag and straight drop it onto my piece of A4 digital A4 paper and then I can just have a place so I could just use her clip art for example and I could just do exactly kind of as they show on there but again depending on what that person will allow you to do um will depend on what you might have to do so for example if that graphic designer was happy for me to just use their clip art and resell their clip art in the format of an art printable or an e-card or whatever I've asked when I sent them their email then I could just create something as simple as that and away I go if, however, they were more specific about the fact that they wanted me to incorporate different things, different elements, which quite a few clip art artists um, and font artists as well are quite particular about, then I can use Canva to just have fun, really. So, for example, I could just do something as simple or as fun. You could really be as creative as you like. This is truly my favorite part this is the fun part um, of using clip art and using people's designs as well as kind of playing around and having fun with your own I could go absolutely to town with whatever however I want to incorporate the clip art so I can just use like I said any I could just go to town again I'm just having a play here this isn't a final kind of visual but it's just where you have the fun but the whole point of this video tutorial is to show you and tell you that there are so many better ways of finding legitimate clip art legitimate fonts mock-ups whatever it is that you are looking for than going on to somewhere like google and downloading something that you have no idea what the rights are to you don't know who owns that artwork and you don't know what kind of trouble you could get into if they found you using it in your shop or in your products so I really love clip art because it gives people who are not massively graphic design minded the ability and the wonderful option to use beautiful pieces of clip art to create beautiful things and it heightens their sharp it heightens the products they can offer but I cannot stress enough how important it is to show people who do create clip art and who do create graphics the proper respect by using the proper channels exactly like creative market to find legitimate pieces of work and then do not hesitate to message them and contact them and ask them what they need you to do it. and usually graphic design artists are so friendly and so helpful with what they want what they'll let you do with their work but definitely have fun have a play and use a legitimate place at creative market just go ahead sign up it's free and buy yourself a few credits and then get playing and get experimenting and that's exactly how I do it and that's exactly how most of the people that I know who use clip art do it because it's the right way so I hope this video tutorial was helpful for you I hope that you enjoy creative market and you use it to find 
tons of things that you can have a play with. I'm going to leave a link to Creative Market underneath the video. So you're free to check it out. You're free to sign up. You're free to do whatever you want to do with it. And also don't hesitate to just start exploring. Pick up a few pieces that you really, really love. Sign up to Canva if you're not already on Canva. Again, it's free or PicMonkey or whatever. If you prefer Photoshop or whatever it is. And just start experimenting and creating. But always remember to do it the right way. So I hope that helps. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.